Hey everybody, it's BB2K with my end of week five uh, recap, review, log, check-in. Uh, just want to go over uh, this previous week, talk about uh, the diet, the training, supplementation, how are things going, all that good stuff. Uh, as far as diet, diet is going phenomenal. Uh, no complaints whatsoever. Uh, my diet is nothing short of being uh, of sexy. Um, uh, in the beginning, with my diet, uh, I didn't really weigh anything, uh, just kind of guesstimated, which I found that to be uh, a huge mistake. I don't use measuring cups, I don't use teaspoons and all that mess. I actually break out my uh, electric scale and use the ounce or grams, whatever it is I'm doing, and I weigh all my food. Everything from protein powder to egg whites to oatmeal to the chicken to the steak, all of it. Sweet potato, everything gets weighed. Uh, that way I know exactly uh, what I'm putting in my body. Uh, ever since doing that, at the advice of Rage, um, it's, made a, it's made a big difference. Uh, body went from doing okay to doing phenomenal. Uh, as far as supplementation, um, the joint, uh, the Animal Flex and Animal Pack have uh, really, really kicked in. Also, uh, the creatine. Uh, I have no joint pain. Um, no soreness, no, no nothing. Um, muscles look and feel stronger and fuller, rounder. Uh, actually, look like a bodybuilder instead of some gym rat that wants that's you know trying to look like a bodybuilder. Um, strength is steadily going up, uh, and like I said, I, I was having a lot of mainly a lot of wrist, elbow, and shoulder pains uh, from over, just over the years of lifting heavy, um, especially the shoulders. Got to the point I really couldn't even lift my arm hardly. All of it's gone now. Um, maybe a little bit of pain when I do my first warm-up set, just a tad. It's not even really noticeable, but that's all the pain's gone. So uh, I, I'd like to give credit to Animal Flex for doing that. Uh, definitely has lubed up the old man joints. I don't squeak and crack and pop as much as they used to. Um, training uh, this past week, I, I think... Uh, has been the best week thus far for me because uh, I went in and decided to slow the negative down, focus more on you know the partial and the negative instead of just the weight itself. Um, what we would do, say for example, like on the hack squat, after I get my eight reps, uh, I would go straight into the partial and the negative. And on the negative, I actually count down as on the negative, five, four, three, two, one, pause, then come up. Uh, basically, I pause on each rep, um, top and bottom, and uh, slowing it down and actually counting out the five seconds on the negative is, is a big difference. Uh, a lot more burn, a lot more pump, a lot more pain, but a lot more effective. Um, my body's made a complete turnaround as far as uh, the way it feels, the way it looks, and the way it's, you know, just uh, the overall training, everything has completely turned around. Now, I wouldn't say that I've mastered the HRT program, but I would say that I 99.9% .9 got this down pat. So uh, I, I think I've got it. Uh, I don't. I don't see if I may, I don't think I'm making any mistakes. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong, which next week I'll be doing videos, uh, one video of each exercise. Uh, my second set, I'll do a video of each exercise. Post those, of course. Uh, you guys can look at it, Rage can look at it and tell me if I'm doing it, you know, 100% or not. Uh, I think I am, uh, but I'm always open to, you know, constructive criticism. Uh, as far as everything else, uh, like I said, the diet's going great, supplementation's great, training is going great, um, no complaints whatsoever, no pains, no aches, no nothing. The only uh, issue I'm having right now, I wouldn't even call it an issue, is uh, back in 2004, I had a, a total of four knee surgeries on my right knee, which left me 30% disabled in that leg. Basically, my left leg is, I straighten it out, it looks like this, where my right leg is like that. Uh, I can't straighten it out all the way, so that's why in some of the pictures you see where the right leg isn't um, flexed as hard uh, or 
because the muscle isn't as defined as much or as the cuts aren't as deep. It's because I can't flex it completely. Um, but with doing the HRT training, uh, it's helped, especially on the stiff leg deadlifts, uh, the way, just the style of uh, the stiff legs where you do the partial and then the slow negative has helped the back of my knee because all those muscles and tendons and everything are, are shortened and tightened because I spent 18 months in bed. Uh, I can't really straighten it out, but doing the stiff legs the way that we do, it's forcing that leg to straighten out more. It's pulling on the back of my knee a lot, and it's, I guess, breaking up that scar tissue, and I can actually straighten my leg out a lot more now. Uh, it hurts a little bit. Uh, it feels like my knee's going to pop out of place every once in a while, but it... It's nothing that I would be concerned about or complain about or stop training. Uh, I'm actually enjoying uh, what it's doing because this is the first time, hell, in almost eight years, I've been able to straighten my leg out as far as I can now. Um, which, you know, if that's the price to pay to straighten my leg out, you know, so be it. Um, I'll continue to do the stiff legs, uh, HRT style, even after the contest. I'm still going to do it that way because it, it's helping. So... Um, tomorrow starts the halfway point, so we got six weeks to go, uh, and then we'll, you know, be done with this. It's, uh, it's been fun so far. I've made phenomenal gains, uh, made a couple of new friends on here. I'm, I really enjoy working with Tom, uh, aka Rage, um, with his suggestions on the routine, the suggestions on diet, uh, suggestions just overall. Uh, Tom's a really, really good guy. Um. I don't know, honestly, too many people like him uh, that that actually take the time to help, you know, the, the, the smaller people, so to speak. Uh, you know, I, I put him up there, you know, in, in, you know, the top three of my all-time most inspirational people. Uh, that's not a suck-up. That's not an ass-kiss. That is a fact. And if any of you, you know, know Tom or have gotten to know him or talked to him and and you don't have that same opinion then you're you know you're insane he's a great guy he helps um he's helped so many of us with this hrt program he's taking the time to do all this and he knows what he's talking about so i'm glad he's on you know on our side and helping us out so um i'm ready to get uh back to training tomorrow uh, very excited to get the week six started um been doing uh, cardio six days a week, um, not hit or anything like that. Basically, just doing lists or uh, low intensity type cardio. Um, normally, I was doing thirty minutes of cardio after my workout, but per rage, I've been doing thirty to forty minutes of uh, steady state cardio first thing in the morning, fasted. Uh, something that I know I would never do before. I'm hypoglycemic, you know, my blood sugar tends to drop, especially on an empty stomach. I get pissy, I get dizzy. Uh, there's been times where I've come close to passing out because I didn't have food in my stomach. Uh, it sucks, I'm a slave to food. But um, I get up every morning, you know, about five o'clock, uh, Monday through Friday, uh, I'll get up at five o'clock and um, I'll take my, my fat burners, uh, drop factor and Yohimbi and HCL about 20, 30 minutes later, I'm at the gym and uh, do my 30 to 40 minutes of cardio on the Stairmaster, drinking, you know, Extend uh, to keep me hydrated and keep my blood sugar from dropping. Um, it's paying off. I mean, uh, I've posted some pictures that were taken today, actually about an hour ago. Uh, I took some pictures. My posing sucks. I know I got to work on it. Uh, I know I got a big old melon head, so... Uh, don't laugh too much at the pictures, but it's just to let you see my progress thus far. I've got 69 days to go to my, my bodybuilding show here in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, I think with the, the way I'm going right now, the progress I'm making, if I can nail posing, I, I think I've got the show in the bag. I, I, I set a goal for myself to, you know, not to do my best, um, but to do beyond that. I want to win the show, win my class. I'll be happy as I can be. The overall, I don't know, because there's going to be some bad mofos out there, but 
you know, we'll say, I, I know I'm going to win my class. So that's, that's the first goal I've set. Uh, the other goal was to win this HRT challenge, and I, I feel I'm going to do that too. It's in my head. It's stuck there and nothing else to do. So uh, I hope everybody else is doing great. I uh, hope your training is going great, your diet's going great. Uh, feel free if you've got any questions, suggestions, comments, complaints, whatever. You know, shoot me a PM or post it on my, uh, on my wall or whatever you call it on bodybuilding.com, my thread. And uh, that's pretty much it, I believe. Uh, covered everything. Um, that's it. Bye.